create a list in chronological order of all Benny's Bums acquisitions. Okay, the keyboard, uh, app, splice, uh, and all of them here. It, it, Evernote, Meetup. This is so cool. <laughs> Save to note. We are saving this. And I'm going to click here and click to load conversation. We'll come back to this audio in a moment. Before that, let me show you how to do something like this. Okay, this is Notebook LM from Google. You'll find a link in the description below, but let me show you how it works. When you start using it for the first time, you land in a page like this. Uh, you probably won't have anything here. This is the notebook I created. So let's create a new one, create a new notebook here. Uh, let's close this for a moment. I'm gonna rename this to Blue Sky. This left bar here, this left menu here is where you add all your sources. And this is what I find interesting on Notebook LM. The AI works based on your sources. So you can add, you can upload a file, you can add a Google Doc, Google Slides, website, YouTube. So what I'm gonna do here is add information from Blue Sky's website. This one here is explaining the AT protocol. And then we have some terms of service here too. Let's add that. And I guess that's enough for now. But you, you could add YouTube videos here, any of that. The the other one has, the, the one about Benny Spoon has a lot of different types of information. So now I can ask something. For example, what is, what is the AT protocol. We are doing this in real time. I haven't tested this. Let's see if this is enough. Uh, okay. The AT transfer protocol is a decentralized social network protocol that developers can use. Okay. It looks like it's right. Uh, I'm not going to read all this, but I, I think you got the point. And here, this numbers here is from where? it got the answer. And this is what I find interesting. So uh, what, as a user, what I should do on Blue Sky? Let's see, because there is the terms of use there, right? Okay, share account with others, upload. This is so cool. <laughs> and again, you can add so many types of information. And if you click here, there is this predefined notes that you can create. For example, you can generate a table of contents and it will generate it based on only the two websites we added to this, to this notebook. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's go back to this here. Let's try this one here. What is the the blue sky social and the AT protocol? Is my content pub? Wow, this is this is good. This is this is good. I like this. Okay. Another thing that you can do here is add your own notes. So I can add a my note here. Whoops. My note, my note, okay, I can add anything here. But for some reason, it doesn't create a name for the notes it creates. This one here should be FAQ, right? Because this is what we asked it to do, but you can rename it, you can click here and rename the notes, okay? and also this one here. Another thing that you can do here is, let's say I don't want to use all my sources. I can uncheck the ones I don't want it to take a look at. Now let's go back to uh, banding spoons because there are many more sources here. So as you can see, I have YouTube videos, I have websites, I have other sources here. And let's go back to that audio because that's so cool. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. 
We're diving deep today into a company you might not know by name, but whose apps you've almost certainly used. Emming Spoons. That's right. They're the masterminds behind apps like Evernote and Meetup. Pretty impressive, right? They've quietly built a tech empire, and their approach is, well, it's quite different from the typical Silicon Valley playbook. For this deep dive, we've got a couple of great sources. Uh -huh. Their company website and a super in-depth YouTube interview with their leadership team. By the end of this... Okay. Uh, this is not, as I understand it, this is not intent for publication. This is more of a learning. So you, you can ask it to create a podcast and listen to it and learn, quickly learn about a topic. But one thing I didn't like about this podcast is that it, there's too much it, it's great it it feels like there are two people talking there but there is too much of the conversation style the more i try this the more i think it kind of defeats the purpose of being a summary because there is all this conversation that is not related to the this friendly conversation that is not related to the, the topic anyway you should try this because there's so much that you can do here for example you can also upload PDFs and ask uh, ask about the PDFs, ask it to find information in the PDFs you uploaded. And this is one thing that I wish Evernote AI was doing, uh, have this container, this is space, the notebook where we could discuss about what we have inside that notebook. I already love everything about Evernote's AI, but I think something like this would be uh, mind-blowing because we have all this information in Evernote, the ones who use Evernote, and it's already something like this. We already have all, we already have PDFs, we already have audios, we already have so many things there. And imagine if we could do something like this inside on uh, on every note notebook. Okay, that's it for this one. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you soon.